We are looking at a number of challenges for energy. It's important to come up with sustainable long-term solutions for our energy needs. Fission and fusion energy are two very attractive uh, long-term energy solutions that uh, offer the potential for producing large amounts of energy without any greenhouse gas emissions. One of the greatest challenges lies in the development of structural materials that can satisfactorily operate in this extreme environment. Here in East Tennessee, we're combining skills and resources from two institutions, the University of Tennessee and Oak Ridge National Laboratory, in order to make significant strides on developing uh, solutions to this very challenging uh, research endeavor of materials under extreme environments for fission and fusion energy systems. One of the most extreme environments that is going to be faced or the materials have to perform in is this interface between a very dense, very hot plasma at temperatures of tens or even hundreds of thousands of degrees to that of a material surface at order a thousand degrees Kelvin. Those environments are ones in which it is very important that we combine state-of-the-art computational and experimental research to better understand the performance degradation and performance limits of those materials. So my group works very hard to combine computational materials modeling with selected experimental characterization to overcome the limitations of not having a representative environment where you can study both the particle fluxes and the 14 MeV neutron degradation. We're seeking to develop in a recently funded project by the Department of Energy to combine a bottom-up atomistic-based molecular dynamics simulation of the exposure of materials to extreme environments with a top-down engineering perspective. We're well on our way to being able to develop predictive models that describe the performance limits and the lifetimes we can expect components to last. We collaborate with other faculty on campus that are involved in research on ion beam radiation effects in materials and nanomechanical property measurements of materials. Here at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, we have a new ion beam materials laboratory. We do not have the test facilities today to test materials under reactor conditions we expect 20 years from now. And so by using the ion accelerator facility that we have here, we can mimic the neutron damage that occurs in structural materials under extreme radiation environments that we expect in reactors that are built 20, 30 years from now. We can approach temperatures of liquid helium, which is around uh, 4 Kelvin, and we can go up at uh, temperatures as high as 1500 Kelvin. By producing different type of the damage, we can simulate different extreme conditions, and we can also see how the material really responds to those uh, energetic particles. With this uh, ion beam facility, we can, at very low temperature, we use energetic ions to produce defects. And those defects, they can be frozen at very, very low temperature. And then we can bring the temperature up and monitoring how this defect evolve. Nanoindentation is a technique that was developed at Oak Ridge National Laboratory and at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Nanoindentation plays an extremely important role in characterizing the mechanical behavior, which is the strength of ion implanted materials. Nanoindentation is one of the few tools that can measure mechanical behaviors on the order of microns or so. We work mostly on trying to understand basic mechanisms, why things behave as they do, why they deform, why they fracture. Hopefully in the long term the payoff will be that through this improved knowledge we'll be able to make better materials where strength is the important property. Examining uh, materials under extreme environments is a very challenging research activity and requires an interdisciplinary team in order to make advances. One of the new activities on campus is the development of a joint institute for advanced materials that will be in collaboration with Oak Ridge National Laboratory. The collaboration between Oak Ridge National Laboratory and University of Tennessee is very important for determining and finding out high performance materials, mainly because of its facilitating collaborations between the different staff. That collaboration ends up sparking new ideas and interesting development towards materials for reactors. The low activation materials development analysis laboratory, Lambda facility, 
is a facility at Oak Ridge National Laboratory that facilitates doing research on ion, neutron, and non-radiated materials. We use it for investigating basic science or understanding a fundamental mechanism that's occurring in the materials. And then we can take that and we can apply it towards uh, a larger scope or larger component materials in order to understand what's actually going on in a fission or fusion environment. We have to be able to do accelerated research such as we do in the ion beam facilities and then also do um, the more real world applications that we do. We're going to see more and more meshing between those two different things in order to keep on expanding, particularly for extreme environments and fission and fusion reactors. Development of the materials that are crucial for the successful implementation of advanced fission and fusion energy is a very daunting research challenge. So this will take the combined talents of a number of researchers here at the University of Tennessee for fission and fusion energy to reach their full potential both here in the United States as well as internationally.